Hi boys and girls, it is Miss Oates and today we're going to be going over how to solve two-step word problems. So let's get started by going over our I can statements. In this video, I could analyze two-step problems to determine the series of operations needed to solve them. I can also interpret models that represent a two-step problem. And our focus standard for this video is 20A1. Use addition and subtraction within 100 to solve one and two-step word problems involving situations of adding to, taking from, putting together, taking apart, and comparing. So, when I am solving two-step word problems, I'm going to be using the cubes method like I do when I solve a one-step word problem. And remember, cubes is C, circle the numbers, U, underline the question, B, box in the keywords or clue words, E, evaluate, so figure out what I'm trying to do, and then S, I'm going to solve and check my answer. Now, in a two-step word problem, you're going to see that there are oftentimes three or more numbers. And part of my job as a word problem detective is I need to figure out what numbers I'm going to be using to solve my first step. And whatever answer in my, is in step one, I need to use that answer to help answer the final question. So the question that I underline or step two. So let's just look at this word problem right here. And it says, Lynn has nine pairs in her basket. Then she picks five more pairs. After that, she gives away seven pairs to her friends. How many pairs are in the basket now? Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to circle my numbers. So there are nine pairs and then she picks five and then she gives away seven. I'm also going to go ahead and underline my question, which is how many pairs are in the basket now? And that's the question I need to solve for step number two. And then finally, I'm going to box in my clue words. So Lynn has nine pairs in a basket. She picks five more, and then she gives away seven pairs to her friends. How many pairs are in the basket now? So now that I've done the C, U, and B of cubes, I'm going to do E, which is evaluate. So figure out what I'm doing first. And the strategy that I'm using for this time is to draw a picture. So Lynn has nine pairs in her basket. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to draw nine pairs. And my circles are gonna represent those nine pairs. And then it says that she picks five more. So I'm going to draw five more pairs because when you're picking things and you're adding them to your basket, you're gaining more. All right, so that's nine plus five. Let me see the total number of pairs that she has now and I'm gonna count them up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So Lynn has 14 pairs right now. So I'm going to go ahead and circle number 14 because I need to bring 14 over for step two. So there's my 14. And again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw 14 pairs. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, and then reading that third sentence, it says after that, so that's this example that this is gonna be part of my second step. It says she gives away seven of the pairs. Well, if you're giving away seven pairs, that means you're take, she's, Lynn is taking away from her pairs that are in her basket. So I'm gonna cross out seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So when I take away, I'm subtracting. So how many pairs does she have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Lynn has seven pairs left. So for step one, she had 14 pairs, but then she gave away seven more and now she only has seven pairs next left. All right. So the second strategy that I can use is model it. So it's very similar to drawing out a picture. This time for my model, I'm just gonna use the same circle. So there are the nine pairs that she had to begin with. And then she picked out five more for a total of 
14, which I have down here at the bottom. And then for step two, I drew out 14 more circles. So taking my same counters that I have, 14 more circles I have, and then I'm going to take away seven. And that takeaway seven represents the seven pairs that she gave to her friends. And now they want to know how many pairs are in the basket now, which would be those pairs right here. There are seven pairs left. All right. And then finally, the third, oops, the third strategy that I can use is going to be an open number line. So I'm going to erase all of this down here. And I'm going to leave this information up here at the top because I've already done that part. And I need to go ahead and for step one, I need to know how many pairs that she end up picking. So I'm going to go ahead and start my first number line with nine. So those are those nine pairs. And I know that she picked five more. So one, that's going to be a 10. So I always want to get to a 10 on a number line. So there's my plus one. And then I know I need to make four more jumps to have a total of 15. So I'll be landing at 14. All right. So that means that Lynn has 14 pairs in her basket. Then for step two, I'm going to start at 14. And then I know that she gave away seven of those pairs. So I'm going to jump till I get to the nearest 10, which would be 10. So I'm going to take away four. And then I need to take away three more. And I would land at seven because I know 10 minus three equals seven, which means that Lynn has seven pairs left in her basket. All right, boys and girls, that is it for today's video. Hopefully some of these different strategies will help you solve two-step word problems. Remember when you're solving a two-step word problem, it's great to go ahead and divide your space in half and have a step one and step two, especially if you see three numbers as you're reading through the word problems. And boys and girls, make sure that you read the word problem before you solve anything else. Read it once and then read it again, and then you'll be ready to solve and solve those word problems to figure out what's going on. Until next time, boys and girls, bye!